Hello, I'm Catherine Knight, and I'm the News and Views Editor at Journal of Experimental Biology. Hi, my name is Tony Carnahan. I'm a PhD candidate at Washington State University in the Bear Research Education and Conservation Center. When I came across Tony's paper, I thought what a fantastic piece of research it was, trying to understand how grizzly bears move around their environment. So, Tony, can you tell us why you're interested in grizzly bears? I've worked with grizzly bears for about 15 years now, and uh, the energetics of grizzly bears have always interested me, how they can move seemingly effortlessly across the landscape. My uh, lab has done a lot of research on the nutrition of grizzly bears, i.e. how they obtain energy. The one uh, piece of the puzzle that we were missing was how they expend energy. To be able to measure energy expenditure while you're traveling, uh, one way to do this is through indirect calorimetry, putting a, a person or an animal into a metabolic chamber and measuring oxygen consumption while they're uh, performing some sort of work. To be able to relate this to grizzly bears, we uh, decided to uh, have them walk on a treadmill. We wanted to look at two different slopes, 10% and 20% inclines. The treadmill was built to handle the 10% incline. However, we had to use cribbing blocks to boost up the front end of the treadmill. So how cooperative are the grizzly bears when you're asking them to do an experiment for you? You just have to figure out how to ask them to do it. And you also need to provide a pretty good reward for them. Basically, slices of apples and uh, bits of hot dogs and, and kind of chum them onto the treadmill and just let them get comfortable with the treadmill enclosure itself. We had one person feeding them through a small hole in the front. We would slowly turn on the treadmill and it took a little bit for them to kind of cue in that, well, if they moved, they could keep up with the food source. They're very, very intelligent animals. Sometimes they're actually so intelligent that um, they tend to start training the trainers as far as giving greater and greater food rewards. That's fantastic. And what is the steepest gradient that you found the animals move at when they're actually out in the wild? Grizzly bears are actually able to move up and down very, very steep gradients. However, when we looked at the actual data, about 60% of the time, grizzly bears are moving at gradients less than 10% uh, uh, slope. And interesting enough, that's Kind of what the national park system build trails for people is is at a maximum of a 10 percent incline and so it it kind of shows that in a way grizzly bears view the environment much the same as we do what are the implications of your research for grizzly bear conservation there's a huge increase in the urban wildland interface which is kind of where a lot of grizzly bear and human interactions happen. And so being able to know how much energy they expend and what resources are available to them uh, is, is really key for grizzly bear ecology moving forward. Did the media interest that you experienced when your paper was published benefit your research in any way? After our research came in, in the Journal of Experimental Biology, we received about 39 uh, requests uh, about our research from literally all over the world, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, US. So the, the media attention we got actually um, gained us a couple new collaborators. And so it, it, it was very fortunate for us to, to have that kind of exposure.